What's up guys, welcome to yet another video. It's about 5 o'clock right now and I had something planned and then I realized that I didn't have enough hours in the day to get it done. So I'm going to have a quick change of plans here and I think what I'm going to do is not a build video but I'd like to do a, not a talking video because apparently two days ago I put out the video where I explained daily woodworking and some people were upset at daily wood talking and not daily woodworking. So, all right, sitting here trying to figure out what to do. But for right now, I think because a few days ago I got a Japanese pole saw. I've actually been using a bunch of Western saws. I have Veritas, uh, a lot of stuff from Sheffield, England. I know. I'm trying to. I'm trying to look at my tool wall over here, see what saws I have. I, I mostly use western saws. What's this one right here? This is the uh, crown. That's right. I think I want to do a comparison to show you guys and for myself because I got a pull saw right here. I'd like to do a comparison between the two because I think that might be interesting to someone who is actually going to go out and purchase a handsaw. So um, yeah, let's do that. So for starters right here. So the main difference between a Japanese saw and a Western saw is that a Japanese cuts on the pole and a Western cuts on the push. Now before we get into the actual tests between the two, I would first like to say that I do not have a preference one over the other. I really don't. I'm being quite honest with you. I use both. That's why I own both because I don't know which is better. I don't have a preference and I use both interchangeably and I'm excited to see what this thing can bring. So I'll kind of go off of some assumptions here. I will disclose that, but um, yeah, I think this should be fun for you and me because we both will learn something from this. But really quickly, before we get into the test, I need to first clear all the crap off the workbench. for this. Uh, uh, I'd first like to explain a few of the ergonomical differences between the two and I guess for starters the crown actually weighs just a little bit more than of the razor Japanese saw. The plate of the crown saw is actually just a little bit thicker and the Japanese one is a little bit thinner. On the crown, you're actually gonna have a straighter cut if you are inexperienced because the blade isn't gonna deflect and bend easily. So that's something to consider. Also, as far as the handles go, I actually prefer the Japanese one because if you were to choke up all the way on the handle, you can actually use your forearm in order to kind of steer the saw where you're cutting through a dovetail or a tricky angle or something. By the way, in the description down below, I do have links where you could purchase either of these. Both of these saws are actually only a couple dollars difference. This one is $24.99 and this one is like $27 or $28. So I'm just gonna start off gently. So now once I'm in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna go and lay across in order to get the top part established and then I'll just go down and follow through into the bottom corner. That's what I've always done when I cut. It's efficient, it works well, and I think with this I'm going to count my, count my strokes too. So So I just replayed that clip and it appears as if I landed on the magic number of 50. So you saw there I actually blew through and there was a little bit left where I just kind of cleaned up. The reason I did that because, or the re I cannot speak, the reason I did that was because I wanted to go through all the way and not lighten up. That way I could get it through in as few strokes as possible and I didn't have to spend extra strokes because this isn't meant to be a clean cut. It's just to see how fast I could get through. So now time for the Japanese one. So 
because both of these are just crosscut saws, you can obviously do, or you can obviously do other sorts of cuts. But I wanted to leave it at the most basic level because I just wanted to give you a test and then allow you to make your own answer yourself. And that's why I'm not going to do a bunch of other tests because it really doesn't matter. You now saw what, what just happened. I Believe me, I tried to keep it as even as possible and that's just the result that, that showed. The Japanese saw did end up cutting less, but if you take into account what I actually said before, where the plate is thicker on the, um, uh, what's it called, 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 uh, the crown. The thickness of the plate is thicker, therefore you have to remove more material and you have to have more cuts. With the Japanese saw, because the kerf is thinner, that also means that the blade is actually going to be a little bit more wavy if you don't have experience. Now, if you could harness your talent along with the actual saw itself. I, I personally would probably go with the Japanese one, but because the plate on the crown is actually stiffer, I believe, now I'm, I'm just giving my honest opinion right here, I believe for a beginner, the crown is actually going to be better because the thickness of the plate is going to allow you to get a straighter cut. That's just my opinion. You can totally disagree with me. That's all I have to show to you today. If there is another tool or two tools in the shop that you see, that you'd like me to test, I'd be more than happy to do that. Just let me know down in the comments. I understand that this video was a little bit different. It might seem short, or it might seem like, Weston, where are the build videos? Now, also keep in mind, because this is a daily vlog, I'm just sharing what I'm doing out here in the shop, and I decided to test these two saws because I just got the Japanese saw last week. Now, if you have a recommendation for a video, or a project, or a tool, or a tool restoration, or anything you'd like to see here on this channel, Channel, please I'd be more than happy to read every single one of the comments that you put down below because guys here's the deal with daily content I get to put out a lot of stuff and that should be exciting to you and me because we'll both learn we'll both be along in the process together and we can learn and figure out stuff like this that is basically going to be it for today's video today was actually a lot of fun you know I didn't even turn on a single tool or a power tool that is out here um, you know, I'm fine with that. I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy sharing it with you guys. And I think it's something that both you and I could really enjoy in the future with some different topics. So, that's basically going to be it for this one, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, leave your comments down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow.